Hi everyone. So today we are going to talk about Portugal travel news. This is almost in the category of breaking news uh, for Portugal and for COVID-19. And this is part of the reason why we decided not to spend winter in uh, the Algarve uh, this coming year, this winter. Mm -hmm. So what have we got, team? Well, on this, um, just recently, on December the 28th, Portugal released their numbers saying that it was the highest numbers. They were over 17,000 per 100,000, which was the highest number in from January of last year, which was 16,000. So the numbers were going up and up, and it's the highest rate they've had. The curiosity is that Portugal did such a fantastic job with their vaccines, didn't they, Tina? Oh, they were they one, of the, yeah, one, one of, of the most vaccinated countries yeah. in Europe and the world. Yes, they were. But with the new variant, I guess it's just increasing as it's going to increase in all countries. And that's partly the reason why we decided it would be safer for us to stay at home and safer for the Portuguese people if we didn't come to their country so they could keep their resources for their local population. Well, how are they handling it? Well, one of the biggest things they've done is that now you have to have a negative test when you arrive in Portugal. You can either have a PCR test, which has to be done within 72 hours, or an antigen test, which has to be done within 48 hours but you can no longer arrive in Portugal without this negative test with you. And the complication for us is we looked into um, seeing how we could get a test uh, in our local community mm -hmm. as if we were going to be going to Portugal. And we would have to wait around nine days yeah. to get uh, an appointment to get the test and then wait for the results. So. It's, it would be too long yeah. to be able to get a flight. <laughs> yeah, it'd be even harder for us, wouldn't we? And the other thing, Tain, is the cost. Yeah, absolutely, which adds, doesn't it? Because now yeah. you've got the cost of the test to get into Portugal, and then there's when you're there to come back to Canada, you have the cost of the PCR test to get back into Canada too. That's right. The other breaking news from Portugal is the government has closed bars and nightclubs until January the 9th at the earliest, and there's no guarantee that they will open at that point. Mm. They've also instructed that all non-essential workers that can work from home should work from home. So they've gone down into a stage of lockdown in, in Portugal. And another thing too, Norm, um, they, to now get into restaurants, you actually have to have a negative test that has been done within 48 hours to actually right. go into a restaurant. And you also have to have a current vaccination um, card with you to prove that you actually are vaccinated. And also you need to show proof of um, uh, a COVID test to go into a hotel. Yeah. Um, and I believe you need one every few days, isn't 48 it? 48 hours yeah. it's, to um, prove that you still have it. And you have to have a certificate of vaccination, as Tina said. The thing about the vaccinations from Ontario, where we live, is that the, um, the barcode system doesn't work in Portugal. So no. there's no guarantee that restaurants and hotels will accept those proof of vaccination certificates. We believe they are doing it because obviously these businesses want, want the money, but there's going to be increasing pressure on restaurants to close. Absolutely, isn't there? Because it's probably, it's going to get tougher and tougher for them to be able to stay open so with if all you, these travel restrictions. So if you don't have self-catering facilities yeah. or uh, yeah. access to take out food and you're relying on restaurants, it's going to become a very expensive proposition of getting tested at 25 euros yeah, yes. Each. Somebody had told us that, wasn't it, Norm? But and you need that every 48 hours. So, yeah. once again. If, if you were staying, say, a month and you couldn't cook for yourself, that would be a lot of extra money you'd have to put really, into your holiday. It really would. 
The other uh, development in Portugal is the government has now said that masks must be worn in public in all places. So it's, it's no longer optional. They've gone back to when in the summertime they were requiring people to wear masks on the beach. And obviously they do have police to enforce that. Mm -hmm. So we, we just feel that with all these restrictions, it's, uh, it's not the time to go to Portugal for us anyway. No. And we also, um, as you know, we live in Canada, so the Canadian government has put on a not to go to Portugal. We are on a level of non-essential travel to Portugal. And in actual fact, the United States has gone even higher than that. They have put a level four do not travel to Portugal. That's right. So we feel that with two huge countries here recommending people not to go, that we are going to respect that, aren't we? And we're and staying it, home. And it's nothing to do with the Portuguese no, people no. at all. There's no discrimination against them. In fact, these measures are being done to help the Portuguese yeah. people by not having an influx of tourists right. who, if they get sick, are going to use up local resources, which may become scarce. Yeah, absolutely, like hospitals and things, isn't it? That and once need... again, with the Canadian government, as Tina said, going back to a non-essential travel advisory, null and voids our travel insurance. Uh, oh yes, that's for, true, for isn't it? For COVID yeah. and for regular travel. So that's. So yeah. we would have to go and find a specialist uh, insurance company that would have an adequate COVID package and that once again is becoming very expensive mm -hmm. don't forget a lot of us are going to Portugal because it's great value for money it's a great climate yeah. great food great people but it's inexpensive in comparison say to Florida yeah and that's why we've been going isn't it because right. we love all that but now all these added extras of tests and things um, and extra insurance that's making it a lot more expensive. So we want um, to respect the Portuguese yeah. people and the government and just not travel right now to, to Portugal as much as we would dearly love to be there oh, to escape the snow that's uh, outside. Absolutely, we'd love to be in the warmth, wouldn't we, walking on the beach and those beautiful blue skies. We, we do, but we felt but, we had, yeah. to, had yeah. to come on and just say why we're not going to Portugal, yeah. some of the reasons, some of the facts, and we're just going to stay home, yes. keep safe, and um, respect our various governments' uh, advisories, the Portuguese and the uh, Canadian government. So we hope that everybody is staying safe. And keeping well. Until the next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.